time I love. Okay, so this is going to be your mini tarot reading. Um, <clears throat> the question that you were asking is, um, basically we're going to look into why so-and-so um, has been ignoring you lately. So you are um, concerned because this per person you have been talking to um, has been ignoring you and you're just concerned whether this is the end is this the end what's going on um, we're going to kind of just look into the energies of what's happening with your question um, so let's get started I'm going to be using the um, the chakra reading cards and then I have two different versions of the Rider weight <clears throat> so we're going to just kind of get a feel for um, the energy of what's happening so, balance is coming out, nurturing, determination. So, along the lines of your question with the balance, this is what I'm saying, this is what I'm feeling. The balance card is kind of just is kind of describing that there's a, there's no balance between you and this person, okay? Um <clears throat> especially because when I first pulled it, I pulled it upside down. Um, so I'm taking that as a sign, but the balance card to me is saying that the two of you are on completely separate pages of what it is that you are looking for, um, in terms of love, relationships, commitment, that sort of thing. Okay. So I'm feeling, I'm getting the vibe, like, especially with the yin and yang thing, I'm getting the vibe that there is a lack of balance. There's a lack of being on the same page. Um, it seemed like maybe you want something more serious versus what this other person wants. Um, the nurturing card is coming up to me, but it's I'm actually feeling it in a more negative vibe. The nurturing card is coming to me like this individual does not want to be taken care of. This individual is not looking for someone constantly in you know on their phone, looking at them, asking them what what are you doing, what are you thinking. They kind of want to me the vibe I'm getting is they're looking for more freedom. They're looking for more space. They're not pretty much they're not looking for a commitment right now. Um so it could be maybe they were thinking that you were taking it a little bit more serious. Um the determination card is kind of giving me the energy of that maybe you were taking it a bit more serious than this individual was and perhaps it kind of scared them off, okay? It could have made them feel like you were um, maybe putting some pressure into them having to be 100% um, open, connected, committed, and they're just not looking for that right now. Maybe they're looking more for just a very fluid kind of a relationship or a friendship or a connection. So yeah, <laughs> his energies are coming up with the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. He's very sexual and he's very much... Um, He's having fun is what he's having, okay? The Emperor card is he's so independent and he is so used to his solo life because the Hermit card also came up. Um, that's kind of making me feel like he actually likes the Bachelor type of lifestyle. He likes to not have anyone waiting for him when he comes home. He likes the idea of... Oh, this one came up in reverse, sorry. I forgot this deck I, I read reversals with. <clears throat> so we have the Queen of Swords the tower card and we have the six of swords in reverse coming up too so this whole thing is kind of making me feel like he is so used to being the the boss in his life right being the one in control he's used to being super independent um knight of wands energy is a womanizer energy this is someone who likes sex who likes to um you know be flirtatious they like to go out they like to socialize they always have women talking to them and looking at them that's kind of the the energy that he's giving off okay very fiery energy too the emperor and knight of wands is both a fire energy or aries or <coughs> well the emperor is more aries energy but it's fire um, so he's very aggressive, very passionate, um, but like I said, lots of sexual and high masculinity energy here, okay? Um, and I feel like the idea of nurturing, which is more motherly um, energy, he's not looking for that right now, okay? Um, and I feel like maybe that is what's happening. 
um, is that he noticed that maybe you were being a bit more clingy or too um, too involved in his in what he's doing, and he didn't he didn't really want anyone to answer to. And that hermit card is, is, to me, I'm taking it as he would prefer his solo, single, bachelor kind of a lifestyle. Um, the other tarot cards that I pulled is the Queen of Swords in Reversed is kind of like he doesn't like to be told or he doesn't like to answer to a woman, okay? At least that's... That's the vibration I'm feeling with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, anytime a woman um, that he's seeing is too involved in his life or too much like, what are you doing tonight? Or what are you doing right now? What are you thinking? Or why didn't you text me back right away? Or how come you didn't call me back? Or that kind of thing. When you start doing that kind of stuff, he doesn't like it. It's a turnoff. Now, I'm not saying that's, that's what you were doing, but if you had the tendency to start getting into that, that is a complete turnoff for him. The tower card in reverse is kind of like he's not looking for change right now. He's not looking for any drastic um, changes to his normal foundation or his normal lifestyle, which is telling me that he's putting a halt to any big, otherwise would have been a tower card energy. This would be how, like, it'd be a big blow to his um, his um, lifestyle <laughs> if he were to get involved and be committed in a relationship he's not looking for that right now the other thing that's interesting is I look at tower card energy is actually sexual too this is like the eruption or the um the orgasm that takes place when you are intimate with someone and I see that as a negative um I see that almost as kind of like he's He's not looking to um, be monogamous. I, I, I'm kind of reading it that way. He's looking at it more as like he's not ready for, for commitment. He's not ready for one-on-one -on -one time. And then the Six of Swords like this. I mean, to me, the Six of Swords is a journey outward. This is moving on. This is leaving one lifestyle into another. And to me, it's just he's not looking for change. He's not looking to move or to to do a lot of, of, of change in his life right now. He's very content with what's going on around him. He's very content with his lifestyle. So that's kind of what I was seeing with that. Um, the second question you asked is, will you see him or hear from him again? So let's go ahead and pull some cards on that energy. Will you see or hear from him again? We have, I am present. We have holistic health and we have inspiration. So um, the I am present to me is telling me that you need to remain your mindset, who you are, what you want out of your love life. You need to remain in the present state. Don't look back on the past. Don't look back on what did I do wrong to cause him to leave. Um, don't look too far into the future. So you, you, you may have the tendency to do both. You may have the tendency to look too far into the past and kind of reanalyze everything that was said or done and what's already done is done. You know, you can't change that. And then you may also have the tendency of looking too far into the future and and you're missing what's happening right in front of you. So, I feel like the holistic health card is more so taking care of you. Okay? Um, and then the inspiration card is maybe busying yourself with other things in your life to kind of help you um, be in the present moment and not so much focused on the future or looking too deep into the past. So I'm taking those energy cards to kind of say, especially the presence, um, to say that you need to just kind of focus right now on the present moment and don't worry about the future. Don't worry about is he going to come back? When is he going to come back? That sort of thing. <clears throat> we have the eight of pentacles we have the five of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles this is completely different energy this is an earth energy sign so i'm feeling like he is not going to be coming back or that you need to move forward um because the eight of pentacles to me is working towards other things that to me goes hand in hand with the inspiration and the, and the self-love card busying yourself with other um other things okay occupying your mind and your time with other projects so you're not just focusing on him and worrying about what is what is he up to the five of pentacles is actually movement towards the future okay and they're headed towards a king of pentacle and notice they're all pentacle suits pentacles is the material pentacles is also earth energy and it's also um groundingness so 
the fact that you're headed towards the King of Pentacles, this can actually symbolize another person entering your life, okay? And it is a, a different a different sign, um, a different vibe of an of, of individual. So it's definitely not the same person we were just talking about, um, where he is more of a fire sign. This is earth energy. So this can be an old altogether, a whole new guy coming into the picture, okay? Especially if you're willing to um, let everything go, <laughs> like move on, you know, and not worry so much about the details and things that you have absolutely no control over. Um, you may actually stumble upon somebody new. So it's kind of interesting how that works. <clears throat> Let's get some insight on that. Yeah. The lover's card just fell out. The 10 of cups card just came out. And the, the Knight of Cups just came out. So there's definitely like other suitors, okay? There are other, there's there could be either two. This could actually represent two separate men um, that you may be meeting in the future. Um, this could be one individual and perhaps the, the Knight of Cups is saying you, your approach to love and your approach to new men in general is needs to be calm. It needs to be more patient because that's a knight of, of cups. But the, the lovers and the ten of cups definitely displays um, love on the horizon and a happy ending out of the whole thing. So I'm not taking this to display that it's going to be the guy in question that we were just reading about. I feel like that is kind of over with. I feel like what you need to do is move on. And you, when you are busying yourself, when you are so busy doing other things, you're gonna actually stumble on someone new. So I'm getting the vibration that this is an entirely new love interest. It could be two people, okay? Or it could just be the, 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 the action needed to take when you meet this new person is patient and slow. Don't, don't rush into it, okay? So my love, I hope that this kind of gave you something to, um, to consider and <clears throat> to, to, you know, to, to think about but basically this concludes your mini tarot reading thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you um and i will talk to you soon bye my love